Your opinions are shit. And nobody should care about them. Thanks for watching, guys. See you <laughs> next time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to T3G. We haven't done one in a long time. We're reviewing a movie. Uh, yeah, we yeah. have. What are you talking about? We did the uh, Suicide Squad two months ago. Two months ago. <laughs> so, as I stated, we haven't done one in a while. And uh, today's video, of course, as the title says, we're doing Doctor Strange. Uh, most likely going to be spoilers. We're going to try to not go that far into detail about talking about what happens in the movie. But it might slip up, so we're just going to say spoilers just in case. Yeah, let's let's assume spoilers. Yeah. Uh, it's done well. Is it has it? I haven't yeah, checked. 80, 84 domestic, two like two two twenty or something international. Okay, I have so not, it, it's I already made it. its budget. So it's already over three hundred uh, worldwide. So that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm hoping it hits high numbers. I also do. I I hope it hits high numbers. Um, it's a good movie. It. I mean, it's a, a damn it's good a, movie. It's a great movie. Uh, I do want to mention before we continue on, uh, we're trying to figure out the podcast stuff out. SoundCloud has some kind of weird limitation for free users, so yeah, we're we're figuring that out. But we'll make sure we once we do, we'll link all the SoundCloud stuff as well. So or uh, not SoundCloud, but podcast stuff. Yeah, once well. we once we figure out a way to host it, it might just end up being on the site. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But let's go ahead and go into a review. I mean, you've you've already said it. It's a great, it's a, great it's movie. It's a damn good movie. Uh, visually, man. definitely, uh, you know, back to where Marvel comes from. You know, we were not that happy with Civil War because of you can definitely there tell. were there were definitely a lot of opportunities yeah. in Civil War. I feel like there was really nothing in this movie where I was like, I wish that looked better. No, there's I, 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 there's not even one time. Like I'm, thought yeah, like it. I'm trying to think. The only time I noticed it was when I thought that it was so there there's scenes obviously you've seen in the trailers there's scenes where they're like astral walking yeah. and there's a scene where two people are talking you know via astral projection and when they're standing there the whole time i'm thinking well you know the way you make this is you video them record you know on green screen yeah. and then you just like fade out parts of them and things like that and then and when they, get, in the, when they too. get into the close-up you see that it's definitely a 3d model but it's near perfect yeah. and it's and the fact that it's a 3D model is actually, it works for it because it's an actual projection. So it's not actually them. It's right. the, it's like their fake version. Right. Like it's a fake version of themselves. So I just thought it was a really cool way. Like it looked real cool. Yeah. It, like I said, it was near perfect. So it, it took me a minute. I was like, it is this, is it CG? Like I, I wasn't sure. I still noticed that, I still didn't notice that it wasn't them. So I don't know. It's... The only the only thing that gave away. So when I watch people talk, I watch their lips. Sure. Um, and uh, the way the lip, they, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't like a perfectly human way. I see. So I mean, the mocap was really really good. Right. Uh, but I just it, it, it was it was something where I I noticed it just because when when the cover batch was talking, um, I I noticed just. I mean, like, I watch a lot of Sherlock, so I've, just, I've watched yeah, him course. talk a lot. So I just knew that it wasn't him. Right, right. Uh, but that's really the only thing, because then I kept looking, and, you know, they'd go to a different shot, and the other person that was there, it looked perfect. And I was like, wait, but maybe I'm wrong. Like, maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. Right. Maybe it's not CG. Right. But then at a different angle, it was definitely, like, I, I could tell. And I was like, damn it, like, I can't, I can't figure it out. Maybe, I mean, it could have also been a blend. It could have been both. I do want to go into a few things, like just really simple stuff that most people might not even care about. But like his his American accent was really good. I, I he really reminded me of Hugh Laurie when Laurie did House. <laughs> actually, so like the yeah. whole time, yeah, so actually, the whole time I'm that. like, what is this? Like fucking British people always got to be playing so American good. Doctors. Playing yeah, playing American, American doctors. doctors. <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I thought he did a really good job at that. Me and uh, a friend of ours that you guys have actually heard on our gaming videos, uh, Ty, said that we would have actually not minded him keeping his British accent. Uh, just because, I mean, the way... It would have been weird just because he... They would have had to, like, explain that. They would sure. have had to explain him maybe, like, having come from England originally sure. or something. Right. Just because it wouldn't have made sense. No, and I, and I get that part. Uh, I don't know. For me... Uh, you know, he he looked like he was one of those uh, prestige style people. You know, like held himself very high. But, what, but wouldn't like a like a like a you know well educated American person speaking with an English accent I mean, let's sound be, like a let's douchebag? Be serious, we're we're Americans and we're from America, but uh, there's no well educated American. <laughs> just just messing around, just messing around. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> can't say those things. Can't on the say those things on the internet. You're gonna be you're gonna be hated on. <laughs> um, but um, no, that that little bit I, I really liked. I mean, he did a really good job. There was not even a moment during the time that you. I mean, you can still definitely tell it's his voice, you know. But uh, the only thing that that got me, the only thing that got me with the with the accent was there was a moment where he repeated his name a bunch of times right and he said it's strange it's dr strange my name is dr strange i'm right. a doctor my name is strange or something like that right, right, i don't know the exact same, but it was like he said strange so many times that i could hear him not straining but i could hear him doing an like an american right, accent right. through like through although i the way it was being i do said. have to say hugh laurie has a heavy english accent where cumberbatch not as heavy like he does have a pretty decent uh yeah english accent but it's not as heavy, so I feel like for him maybe it was a little easier. Well, maybe Shoot. not. I mean, you're, I mean, yeah, you're still changing the tone of your voice, right? And stuff I mean, like that's that, how so. you pronounce words exactly. and everything like that. But it, it, sometimes it seems, you know, it's it, it actually I feel helped the character because you know he's supposed to be a jerk, he's supposed to be an arrogant guy, right? And sometimes the way he said things, it sounded like he was like you know like those people who are super trying to be proper and every time you know like if you say something like no 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 it said this way right like that's every time he would say certain words yeah, yeah. it just felt like he was being like no no, no this is how you say right, that right 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 <laughs> no absolutely um i know one of the biggest uh controversies for the movie was uh the woman playing the master um sure. I didn't have an issue. I mean, she did a great job. She's a great she, actress. She so. did a great job, and I think they did a little tongue in cheek thing, right? So somebody pointed out that oh, like you try to you try to like deal with it by like showing this other thing, and like you actually become a way more racist. So there, obviously, you know that Tilda Swinton plays the ancient one, and there's a scene right when he meets her. You know, they bring him into the room and mm -hmm. they show him. They, they, well, they walk. They walk in the room, but they don't point her out directly. But he sees this old Asian man. I mean, I can't say. Oh, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah, say yeah, yeah. Chinese or what. Right. But I, this really old, like old Asian man, like basically what the ancient one looked like in the comics, yeah. realistically speaking. That's what the, that's what the ancient one looked like in the comics, more or less. And like he 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 thinks that that's the ancient one because right. they don't say male or female. They just say you, you're going to meet the ancient one. Right. They never mention. So male or he looks, and I'm like. I did, I'm like they did that on purpose, and it's like a tongue in cheek thing. Like if this is what we would have done, what would you have said then? Right. But I feel that some of the people who have been commenting on the internet have been like, "Oh, well, like that ended up being way like way more racist." And I'm like, "Well, I disagree. I think it was a little tongue in cheek, but at the same time, like that is a style of dress. That is a style that is that has been used in, in sure. parts of Asia. So like that, I, it, it wasn't to me. It didn't feel racist. I feel like." The, the, the kind of deeper stuff they ended up doing with the ancient one like story wise I thought it was interesting it was an interesting kind of difference for me to, to which the I, I've never I've never read uh, Doctor Strange so I don't know the ancient one's story and stuff like that so for me there was really nothing to right. base it off of so I was fine with that aspect I mean, it, it, it made sense to me, like, story-wise. It actually made perfect sense to me. I don't know if they've ever touched on that in the comics. I'm not that deep into Doctor Strange's lore, but, I mean, from what I know, you know, the Ancient One was kind of this epitome of goodness, and, like, he, he was the example. Right. So, like, to have them... I don't want... I, like, I don't want... Again, I'm not really trying to get into spoilers, because that's, yeah. like, a major element of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, to have them kind of sour that for me... I don't know. It was an interesting kind of approach. Sure. I like, though, that because of the way they approached it, it ends up being more of, like, a communal thing. Like, we all have to do this. It's not just one person, right. like, being the shining example. Like, it's not, you know, Superman and a bunch of other people. It's right, 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 right. everybody, you know, kind of doing it together. So I really like the way they approached that. But I, I think she did an excellent job. I yeah. think, I mean, Tillis one's an amazing actor. Yeah, so. of course. So I, I had no issues with that as well. Honestly... We we talked about the visual. Visuals are great. The story, I think, basically, uh, you know, the the only story that I know of Doctor Strange is what I got from the animated movie. Mm -hmm. And so this, and as they said, you know, when they started the movie, they for some reason specifically mentioned, you know, if you've watched the animated movie, you know what we're doing. Uh, and I don't know why they focused on that. I mean, because you told me the stories exactly the same in the comics but for some reason they so it's a, it's, exactly, the, it's exactly the same it's a little more, i mean besides obviously the ancient one part but right, right. like him her, ruining his hands and stuff like that yeah i mean the, the, i mean the basic premise of his origin is the same sure what i think they they meant with that as far as the animated movie 
they took a lot of that whole like we operate in the shadows thing, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like in the animated movie, they do like they like create clouds and whirlwinds and stuff where like it might look like just a storm coming in, right? And they kind of do their thing in there. And in the in the movie, they do you've seen it in the trailers that like mirror effect. They do it in the mirror dimension, so a lot of stuff happens kind of out of the way of people. And that's where you get all these fancy effects. Which I feel like they explained really well, yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's something that, you know, you, you were always thinking, oh, you know, how are they going to explain what all these things happening? Yeah, you know, how do you... How, like, like how somebody's somebody going to notice a little building being folded right, over. Right, exactly. I feel like and, somebody uh, noticed. It, it makes sense. And I thought that was the route they were going to go with in any way. Uh, but... It's, it's a good thing that they just threw it in and explained it real quick. It's not something they really... Uh, you know, stuck on, but it was something that was thrown in during his education to explain how them things work. So right. it was done very well, very quick. Uh, there was not really a time, even when he wasn't Strange, Doctor Strange, yeah, you know, the 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 sorcerer. Uh, there was not a moment during the movie where I was like, man, like when are we gonna get to the magic part? You know, I was just enjoying the whole thing, seeing him being a arrogant mm -hmm. uh doctor you know this cocky guy uh you know I, I just enjoyed all that aspect of the movie i thought everything just flowed very very well i even enjoyed the the counterpart to him which was the uh woman of you know his love or whatever uh yeah i forgot her name but i have seen her in a lot of things and rachel mcadams no that wasn't mcadams was it no. i feel like that was rachel mcadams was it maybe oh there goes your phone yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be checking that. But um, she did a great job. I enjoyed her. I liked her. Uh, everything just went really well. There's really not a lot I can complain about. With uh, there's really not anything I could complain about. The only thing I can say is, I don't know who believed Kevin Feige when he said there's no stone in this one, but there's there was a stone in this there's one. There's obviously a stone in uh, it. And when, we, you, when they and when they, but what I really liked is how they reveal. I mean, it's it, it's. A non-factor of the story. Yeah, so it's, it's not. Like it's, I'm, not I'm, it's like the way they it's tell not you. Focused on. Yeah, the way they tell you, it's like literally the last like thing they nobody say. Cared. It's the last thing they say, and I don't want to say exactly, but like it's the last thing they say, and you're like, oh, well, that makes perfect sense. But and, and I, I even said it. I yeah, even we, said, call, I, we call yeah, it. We, we call, call it. A year like I, I, when I when I communicated with you a while back, I said, dude, it's that's got to be the stone, and you were like. I mean, it's not in the comics, and I'm like, yeah, but it's it, the it, only thing they can do for this kind of setup that they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I think they did a really good job. I think the movie was paced extremely well. I actually was expecting the whole um, him damaging his hands to be like an after... Because he was going to a party, right? Right. So I was actually thinking he was going to get drunk at the party. Well, that's what I was thinking. So, because I, I feel I like that's how that's it happened in the, the comic anim and the, and the animated, animated movie. movie. Yeah. But I, th I, th I feel like they didn't want to make him out to be... A drunk? Like a blatant right. disregarder of public of, safety. Yeah. I mean, he like clearly was a disregarding public safety. Like he was... Driving on the wrong was, side of the road. He was driving on the wrong side of the road. He was speeding in the rain. Yeah. And then grabbed his phone to around like check yeah. a case to didn't decide. grab it but he was looking he kept looking at it instead of paying attention to the room and I was just like ever, like as soon as he started doing that I was like oh the, I'm like well that's way faster than I was expecting yeah I was expecting at least another like 10 minutes of right, like, of, like all that. him being a doctor before uh, but I think I mean just it paced really really well yeah. I think, you know it, it comes out of the gate you're kind of like this is a setup here's what's going on here's who this guy yeah. is and then when you gotta get forward you know, when you go forward with it it's it's a lot of people have been complaining that, like, other people tell you, like, what kind of person he is. I, don't, I, I disagree. Uh, I mean, I feel like at the beginning with the whole medicine thing, I think he could have been a little more uh, cocky as far as as far as how he did the job. I mean, I, I still think he was super confident. I mean, yeah, confident. he was definitely super confident. He was super confident, and, like, but that exchange with the, with the other Dr. Nick, where he kind of was like, you know... I can freehand it. Well, like I could freehand or something, something. And he's like, uh, "Was like now? Now's not the time to show off." And he's like, "And what about ten minutes ago when you when you announced my my patient to be dead?" Right. And you know, it was one of those things. Like, I didn't feel like that was a cocky thing. I felt like that was, "Hey, why don't you do your job better?" Right. It wasn't like so much like I can do this better than you can. Right. He was just like, "We don't have time for all this other stuff. Like, I got to do this freehand." 
and you need to make sure that you check twice before, like, you send somebody to die. Yeah. Because they were about to take this dude to get organ harvested. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, it was one of those things, like, I, I feel like in something like that, you know, that there was a point to that where the people that were commenting online said, like, you know, they had to tell you that he was being a jerk about right. it. And I feel like there's validity to that point, because, again, there wasn't that much of him being a doctor, so there wasn't, was, but there was definitely moments here and there you can tell he was, like, held himself very highly. Right, yeah, but I mean, like, the whole... And they pointed that out with the whole, like, you know, how about this case, how about this case? And he's like, yeah, not interested, I'm yeah, not interested. Not interested Could be, yeah. And he, by, by the way, right at the beginning, uh, he shoots down... Uh, actually, that's actually while he's, while he's driving. He shoots down fixing Rhodey's legs. Rhodey, yeah. And that's the thing, people have been talking, somebody, I was actually had like a discussion with somebody, a friend of a friend, on Facebook, where they're like, oh, it's not really like related to the Marvel Universe. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? What's not related First to of all, po- wait, like after, cre- after credit scene, directly like, another oh, yeah, character yeah. shows up. Oh yeah, for sure. And then like, two after credit scenes, by the way. Yeah, and then, and then like, during, during that drive, he's like, oh, like, do you want to take this case you know, this yeah, guy shattered his spine. This yeah. guy shattered his spine in an experimental armor. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, obvious reference to Civil War. Yeah. And it was just one of those things where when that guy said, when the guy on Facebook said this, like, oh, it's not, like, they should have had, like, Spidey show up. And I was like, bro, you gotta understand. The New York sequence was all indoors. Yeah. No one could have known yeah. that what was happening. The, the, the Hong Kong sequence, no one's at Hong Kong. Yeah. Like you, that would have been literally forcing. They, us. He's like, well, they, you could have had like Hulk they, or what, oh, Black they, Widow show up in Hong Kong and just like freeze in place. I was and then just they, gonna say, unless like, well, they brought stupid. Big Hero Six into this universe, <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden Hong Kong became San Fran Tokyo or whatever it was. And, yeah, I'm saying it was, it was one of those like, they, like he's like, oh, they, they could have had Spidey just like send something no. and then it go away. I'm like. That's no, like there was fan, there was been, clear been huge fan there's like clear notions that this is part of the universe. And then like the first shot of New York is Avengers Tower. Yeah, so like, there's, come on. Like, there's it's nothing enough. there's no way uh we needed another character. That, that's to the show thing, up. that's the thing that bothers me. Like the same thing with people uh, I mean like, I think we had this conversation when when Agents started, you know, every comic doesn't always reference to the fact that all these other heroes are around. Right. Like, every issue doesn't, every storyline doesn't. Like there's Dozens of storylines that thing. go all I mean, over the place. They might reference, but not so bluntly right. in the I mean, sense and, and that even, a character and they shows even, up. Right, and they even did, right? And they right. even did in several ways. So, like, to have the Avengers Tower in the background, like, hey, it just kind of. And talking about you. a guy in a suit of armor that just broke his spine because right. he can't walk. And That was the last like, thing that we saw in the movies, yeah, right? So, so like, I mean, like, you can't. You can't. You cannot say that they didn't ref- if you think they didn't reference you weren't paying attention to the movie. Right, exactly. That's Whatever you were doing was in the movie. So uh it's I think I think they tied it in really well. Yeah, no, I think absolutely. again the pacing was really fast. Especially Wait. towards the end where they mentioned the stone and then the after credit scene. Like there's definitely The after plenty. credit scene directly ties in I mean to the next movie that's yeah. coming out and I you can figure that out yeah. if you you know, I feel like we're still like really in non-spoiler territory. I think we've we done are a really still, good job. We, we've done pretty good for not um, spoiling almost anything yet. You know, story's good, dialogue's good. I never had a moment where you know somebody's super cheesy or right. like. I think that just really overall like a well packaged movie. I do. It's one of those say- things like Iron Man to me is still the perfect movie, right? But I still think that Guardians was more fun for yeah. me. Yeah. I feel like Iron Man's still number two, but this is definitely a quick number three spot for me because it's well it's well done, top to bottom, well acted. The story is tight. You don't have any excess. It's just like boom, boom, boom. Right. We know why things happen. We know, and it's like beginning, beginning, middle, end, done. Like there's no, yeah. there's no, uh, you know, like little droplets here. No, not like, at all. Like they really but didn't it's still try a to like shove movie, too much though. stuff in. Right. It's still a two hour, but, but it, didn't it didn't feel like it. Like it didn't movie. feel like it. That's yeah. the thing. You know, like. You know, as much as I like Civil War and as much as I like Batman v Superman, like those movies, they were huge movies and they felt like long movies, but right, they were right. supposed to. There's a yeah. lot of stuff going on, but this was like, even though there was literally like cosmic stuff going on, it would just boom, 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 yeah, boom. No, let's just was, do it. It was I loved really how well. they did uh, the bad guy. I loved so the what they essentially did with the bad guy, which I can't remember his name. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen, who plays him. I couldn't... Th- I, I don't know who that is. I believe they created that character for the first time. I don't think that, that was ever in the comics. Yeah, maybe. Uh, if it was, it's not like a major character. He played the role 
that in the comics and traditionally, even in the animated movie, sure. that Baron Mordo played. Right. Like, he was the one who was like, I'm out to get more right. power. Not so much like, like, the way they painted it, you know, and Mordo, I think, in this, way more interesting of a character. Right. You know, it's not like, he's not just this, like, throwaway, like, Like, you I know, just want power. Right, he's not yeah. just this throwaway. Like, the, the guy who just wanted power essentially got a wish. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he wanted eternal life, essentially got his wish. And he he's, he's done. Like, that guy's never coming back. We're never going to deal with that character again. You know, it wasn't the greatest villain, but I feel like the, the overall, like, you know, I mean, it's Dormammu. It's obviously Dormammu. Uh, if you know anything about Doctor Strange, it's Dormammu. Right. <laughs> like, uh, so in the, in, the, in the animated movie, in the comics, it was always Mordo that makes a deal with Dormammu. Right. You know, same kind of concept. Like, I don't think they revealed that plot in the movie, so I'm going to leave that alone in the trailers. So I'm going to leave that alone. But it's the same kind of concept, and this this guy, again, don't remember his name, but he goes away after that. Yeah. So, like, that whole plot point is done, and Mordo is way more interesting character, because throughout the entire movie, Mordo's a good guy. Yeah. Mordo works with everybody. Mordo I guess that's the only only spoiler we'll have. But I mean, it's not really a spoiler because in everything else, he is a bad guy. Right. So it's not like it's a spoiler. Yeah, he becomes. It's, a, the, it's different. He becomes a bad guy. He becomes a bad guy, right. but it's not. Again, it's not like this dumb reason of like oh, I'm just no, not more power. It, he feels like a rich character. It's one of those things that I honestly feel like you could take that and roll like roll with him just popping up in various movies. Oh yeah, for sure. I because, mean, this especially is because of his new motivation well, and thing. everything This like is that. a character definitely that can continue coming back uh, just like Loki. He, he's somebody yeah. that can always be there to mess with Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. So it's the way they introduced him to be a bad guy was very well done in the sense that it can be a character that can be there for quite some time, a continuous character. So I, I like that. I think that was great. The thing I wanted to bring up was I know Cumberbatch has pretty decent comedy. Uh, a lot of it is fairly uh, very uh, dry humor, as they call it, especially English, in Sherlock. English in humor, yeah, dry English humor. English humor. Uh, in Sherlock, you don't. It's not like blunt in the sense it's like you start yeah, laughing, it's not but over, you realize yeah, it's it like, was funny. It's like yeah, it's but clever. here he did a very good job. Really at the solid comedy. comedy. One scene where I was like, you could have like cut ten seconds off of that, and I still would have been just as funny. Right. But otherwise, like. I think just the humor that was like peppered the in was great. the the Stan Lee cameo. Yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. That was great. Could not have like could not have asked for a better cameo. Yeah. No, it was awesome. It was just like everything again. Everything was just done so concisely. Yeah, it stayed on message the whole time. It was never like let me dead stop because I'm like an Amazing Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man, the first one. Right. The like Stan Lee sequence. It just felt like that whole sequence was like to have a Stan Lee appearance. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, it was a fight between him and the lizard in the background, right. but, like, it was focused on Stan Lee. Yeah, definitely And I'm like, was. this is a Stan Lee scene. This right. is not a fight scene, really. Right. Like, it is, but it's not. Right. Whereas this was just, like, it made sense. It had just, like, it, like, called it, back it to the beginning of the movie. Sense. Yeah. It just was so, so was, well done. No, it was I just, well done. I really, really liked the way this movie was done. Like, again, a very concise message. It always stayed on point. It never got, like, because, again, you... It's magic. Magic is kind of a huge right. thing. Like you could get out of out of bounds real fast. Oh yeah. You know she, it, it, they, they did a they, good job. But they even say like, "There's this and this." Like we're yeah. really the best with this. We're really yeah. the best. Like, we'll, we'll talk about this stuff later. Yeah. No. It was just kind of like there's all this other stuff. Like they, you know, like the the, the the hint of there's crazy amount more. Like I mean, there's a whole library, and he's like all these books. Yeah. No. They did, they did a, a a great job in explaining a lot of things about the magic. I mean, overall, this movie is just, it's great. If you're watching this and you haven't seen it, luckily, we haven't really ruined anything for you. I feel so, like we're, we're so, saying this no spoilers, man. Yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. So go watch it if you haven't, because it you should. You really should. There's been a lot of Marvel movies that I necessarily have not enjoyed nowhere near as much as this. That goes for Ant-Man, that goes for the first Captain America, uh, the first Thor. So... This definitely for me. Uh, we were we were talking about where everything ranks, and I think we should do that for this video. I think we should put our top five rankings for Marvel. Sure. So for me, right now, number one is Guardians. Me and him both agree Iron Man is the perfect movie Iron when Man's it comes down movie, to a Guardians comic book movie. It's just more fun. But Guardians is definitely more fun. 
Uh, and Especially I, and, like and, branching and the, out, and branching the fact, out, like, and the fact that it's in outer space, which a lot of people are afraid of doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people uh, that the perfect proof for that is Transformers. Uh, I enjoy Transformers just for the sheer entertainment factor of it, but where they could excel and make these movies more fun for other people is make them in outer space. And if you do that, you most likely are going to have people that like it more often. So. That's why I like Guardians as my number one, even though we both agree Iron Man is the perfect movie. For number two, it's definitely for me Doctor Strange now. It's it once again they go into a realm where a lot of a lot of people, a lot of movies, a lot of industries don't like to go into to talk about and they explain that really, really well. Number three for me is Winter Soldier. I love that Captain America movie. The best Captain America movie we've had. And let's be serious, Civil War was Avengers three. <laughs> Uh, and then for number four, I have Iron Man, and then for number five, I believe, man, I didn't even think about for number five. Mm, you ponder that. Yeah, whoa. Guardians. Okay. Guardians for me, so here's the thing, my top three are Guardians, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange. All essentially for the same reason. Yeah. They all go to a place that you just d haven't touched before. Mm -hmm. Guardians goes into space when you have the Marvel Universe already yeah. established. You have a bunch of people that work in, in New York, on Earth. You know, you have this whole support structure that like right. you could throw in like an Iron Man cameo and it would be like, oh man, Iron Man was in it. Yeah. No, this was all 100% original content. You had no cameos except for, I mean, the the stranger who was in, the, or the collector, who was in uh, Thor 2, but that wasn't really even that big of a thing. Because he, he was in the oh, post-credits, yeah, 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 yeah. or the last scene. Right, right, right. So, like, it wasn't directly related, but it was, like, just, like, the, the slightest connection. But most of it was just completely separate from everything. Iron Man, same thing. Iron Man came out at a time where there were no other major, like, huge... Movies like that, yeah, even Batman right. Begins had come out, but that was, I mean, no one made a point to say like this is grounded. Yeah, we're talking like grounded, realistic no, no stuff, supernatural right? Supernatural stuff, right? And it was one hundred percent realistic, you know, realistic as much as you can get. And whereas this guy put on a suit of armor yeah. and flew everywhere like yeah. within minutes, basically, yeah. it was great, you know. And then again, Doctor Strange without really a support structure, without having an Iron Man cameo, without a Nick Fury cameo, yeah, nothing. Doctor Strange did this amazing movie Absolutely. and yes of course like i said there's the post ca post credits cameo but that's to me that doesn't make the movie right. that just to me is like those post credit ca things are always like to set up the next thing right. so to me that's all it did i think those are my, my top three winter soldier is four and avengers is is number five because the first avengers for me played really well you brought this team of really people who wanted nothing to do with each other right. to do something bigger than themselves. I really, I did like Ultron. You know, I mean, the, the Iron Man Hulk fight was amazing, but again, it was the first major team movie. Yes, they were fantastic for, but it just wasn't on this it scale. Was, it was a better, it was, it was, no, no, I mean, even, even, the, even like the 2005 fantastic four, I really liked that movie. I do too. But it just, to me was still like a small right. scale movie. Like they saved the world. Right, right, right. Like from alien invasion, right. which is something that the Fantastic Four should be doing, right. but it just like both Fantastic Fours from the two thousand five, like we dealt with Doom, and what they do with the reboot poorly, again Doctor Doom. So it just really we just the, Fox is just really bad at Fantastic yeah. Four, but like they did this like hey here's this entirely new villain, like yeah we're bringing in a Loki from the previous movie, but like he's. Like, we, we set up Thanos, good, we set, like, we set up this good, entire yeah. universe, and then, like, oh yeah, I guess they had Thanos and Guardians, but, like, again, right. Thanos was, like, an after-credits thing. Right. But, it, again, that's my top five, I think, I think, again, it's and tough, really, all, of them, all for... of them do something that no, no, no one else had done, because right. even uh, Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier was a, like, a spy thriller. Oh my god, it was great. While also being yeah, a superhero no, movie, was, so, like, it, it put, amazing. it put a, it put a cinematic style to a superhero movie that isn't usually associated. Right. You know, because, like, they're talking about Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming being, like, a uh, John Hughes movie. Right. You know, like, this coming-of-age story. And most, like, people don't treat superhero movies that way. No, like, not at all. And Marvel's just doing an excellent job with that. Yeah, for me, I mean, number five, it, it, it's, man, it's a tough one. There's been a lot of movies. 
I would have to agree uh, that it's most likely Avengers, if not Avengers 2. Just because I do like Avengers 2 a lot. I mean, the first gives us our, our first big team up, but I just enjoy, I, I love, um, man, I, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. Vision? But the, uh, Vision for sure. I mean, Vision is probably the best looking, besides Iron Man, the best looking, I mean, they all look, how can I put it? It's the best non-human looking character ever. I mean, for an you think, android... You think, you think Vision is done better than Hulk? Yes. I told you already, the Hulk that I like is the Hulk uh, from Ed Norton's Hulk, where he's yeah, all I, like... I think they made the Hulk in Avengers... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I think they made the Hulk in Avengers what I feel the Hulk should look right. like, but I feel if you're just looking at like what looks cooler... The, the Ed Norton Hulk looked better yeah. just because it was weight. It was a little darker. It was, it was a little darker, grayer. Was gri but he was like veinier. You know what I'm he saying? Just, like, he, he looked a just little more impressive. Intimidating. Impressive. Yeah. 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 It was just yeah. like if this dude walked up into in, into the same room as, you know, the, the I can't think of his name, the guy who plays Hulk now. Uh, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. If, you, if, if like Ed Norton Hulk and Mark Ruffalo Hulk walked in the same room. Like I, I would look at Ed Norton's. I, 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 I'd, like, I'd root for Norton. I'd root for Norton, <laughs> even though it's the same Hulk. Oh, right. Know, they they changed the animation, and that's yeah. it's fine, whatever. But it's it's one of those things that I'm I'm interested to see like what they do with Hulk, especially now in uh, in in Ragnarok. It's going to be interesting because oh my God, they're Ragnarok's they're huge. they're going to another planet. Yeah. There's a lot of options, especially now if you don't have like densely populated areas. Right. You have Hulk in like open I mean oh like the coolest scenes from the Ang Lee Hulk right. were all the desert scenes because yeah. you could have him hop around anywhere you could have him toss tanks all over yep. the place because it was just whatever There's yeah. you can't you're not going to hurt anybody no absolutely so that was uh, I hope that's kind of what we get because again in, in yeah in, in Avengers 2 you James Spader Spader yeah I uh, like him Ultron. as Ultron he just he I he know a really lot of job. people did, didn't. That was a but, well, that was a well written story. That yeah, was a well written character. It was just I mean. yeah. It was just I think his his mannerisms, the way he acts, just fit Ultron really well. I know a lot of people don't like because of that. But I liked. I enjoyed it. I liked Ultron. I think he falls back into the one deficiency in the Marvel Cinematic Universe mm -hmm. is the bad guys. Right. He was good. He wasn't great. Right. He wasn't, like, terrifying. Sure. He was, like, a big problem that they had to deal with. Right. And, you know, you shut down the, the thing at the top, and, you know, you kill the main one, he yeah. goes away. And I'm like, yeah, he almost got away. He's like, I was only born yesterday. Dead. Right. And that's the end of Ultron. And I was like, I feel like that could have gone better. And, I f and again, I feel like no, like... They could have made Ultron be a more serious, like, long-term danger. Because all you have to say is that he transferred his consciousness somewhere, like, outside. Like, like the last scene, just but like, who's, who's, as you fade to black. To, but who's to say they didn't do that? I mean, and, I know, and, but I'm saying, <laughs> as, as you, as you, like, as you, like, pan out from the, la from the Avengers mansion, sure. it just fades into, a, like, a, a computer terminal right. somewhere, doesn't I'm matter where, you. and it just says Ultron program loading. No, I got you. Call it a day, because then Ultron becomes the issue that he is in the Marvel Universe, is that he's constantly trying to tear down the Avengers, and he always comes back. Right. And like he's all, and every time he comes back, he's worse and Here's worse and thing. worse. Here's the thing, it's tough to say what they want to do with these movies. I know what we would enjoy with him keep coming back, but maybe at some point they want to reset the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe I mean, they don't care for a villain to keep coming and, and back. And to me, that's something that they need to get into then the more manageable bad guys. Right. You get into... I mean, you had Zemo, but I feel like if you follow the Zemo story, you can make him right. start the sure. the Masters of Evil. Uh, and that's the kind of what I'm talking about. Like, Masters of Evil, like manageable bad guys that are good, mm -hmm. that are menacing. But again, and here's the problem I have with the Avengers concept, is that they have to have a world-ending problem. Right. And because of that, you can't have a really well developed yeah. bad guy. Well, unless that's you, why, unless that's you why, again with Infinity War. Well, I was going to say they're developing that long Infinity term, War and that's going to be the best. Be, uh, I guarantee that's going to be the best. One. Infinity War is definitely going to be interesting on how because I mean, where do you go from there? Either you reset the whole world. Well, here's the thing: the Infinity Gauntlet, once it has all the stones, can do 
anything. Right. No, I got you. But I'm just saying. What I know. what I want after what I want after is I want I want a whole different Avengers. I want a and I said this on Facebook. People were I forget what people were talking about, but I'm like. I don't know. Somebody said that, like, could we see... Somebody put me in an article and people posted it. Like, could we see a female Captain America now that Captain America... Like, Steve's no longer Captain America. Right, so you put the shield on. He's not. He's probably going to go by Nomad or something dumb. So he's not Captain America anymore. Like, could we see a female Captain America? I'm like, well, we could, but why? Right. Like, it's unnecessary. But we're not gonna. Because here's the thing. One, so you have Sebastian who's done... Who's on eight contracts. Or eight whatever, eight years of contract. Right. You have Mackie with six, and he came on after Chris Evans. Right. So you already have two options for Captain America. I mean, I think people were just talking about it in general as far as, like, you know, more representation and all this other stuff. And I'm like, that's fine and dandy. Like, you could do it. There's nothing preventing sure. you from doing it. I just don't think it's necessary. Right. Like, Captain America traditionally has been a male. Like... It's, well, it's kind thing. of like it's kind of a generational character, so like people have taken his position and like oh like they did it for right. the the little the puzzle game right 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 you know uh, Sharon Carter did it you know, supposedly you. Sharon Carter or uh, Peggy Carter took over after he died like, she see. became Captain America I see. and I was like I feel like that wouldn't have happened because especially it was you know they they, they gave her a it hard was time in the era like, they gave her a hard time yeah. about being an agent. And doing some research, well, I don't the think thing. they'd send her to battle. Here's the thing for me, and we always discuss this. Uh, you One, they already have two other characters who can play Captain America, who have played Captain America. Right. So why go out of your way, one, to introduce another character to play Captain America, when you can just introduce a female character? You got, and that's what I'm saying. And you, like, you it's not these, like it's not like the Marvel universe is small, and you can't. Do you have thousands of female characters in the Marvel universe? And I, and I was saying that's what I was thinking after after uh, Infinity War. I would like to see Monica Rambeau, who's now called Spectrum, who was called Captain right. America, like she's or Captain Marvel. She's my right. Captain Marvel. Like I grew up with Monica Rambeau as Captain Marvel, who is a black woman, right. and she was Captain Marvel. Yeah, and, for you know, like, sure. And I'm like. I'm like, can I have her? I want her. Like, she, I think she's got a way, a way cooler power set. Right. And she, she's a fucking scientist. Like, right. she's not just, like, this military person who gets powers and now she's going to be military. Like, Captain Marvel, like, Carol, to me, is, like, this damaged person who got to be Captain Marvel um, after going through some really rough times. Right. And, like, she's as good of a character as she is now because of all that stuff that happened. Like, a lot of things happened to Carol in her past. Like... And some of it's related to the X Men and things like that. So like, there, there's some stuff you couldn't go into, obviously. But there's just I mean, she had a huge drinking problem. She no, no, she went into battle with the yeah. Avengers drunk, and like right. they they admonished her, and she was, they were like, "You can't do this," like because she was called Warbird back then, and it was just there's just a whole lot of history that they're not going to go into, and I just feel like they they're going to need to give her something. I mean, like Tony has a drinking problem in the movies. Yeah, they. You know, I don't know if they're going to resort to that, if they give her a drinking problem or something, but there's just she's going to need to have some sort of flaw because otherwise she's just going to be too good. Right. Because then if she's just like the perfect soldier who gets powers and now she's the perfect superhero, like, meh. Yeah, that's not a really <laughs> great story. But uh, that's that's going on a tangent. This is Doctor Strange Review. Uh, but yeah, that's that's our opinion for the movie itself, and uh, you guys should if you haven't seen it, go see it. Absolutely, I mean, that's, go see we're it. gonna say that again. The but. biggest the biggest thing for me in this movie is the the post credit scene with the with the guest feature. Yeah, sets up Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange's position in the Marvel Cinematic for sure. Universe, and I love it, he's like taking this proactive stance. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. Oh my he, God. Like, there's this little voiceover as like they pan around the room and he's like, boom, boom, this this is kind of what's going on. And he's like, this this is what's going on? All right, let's go handle this. That moment that moment alone is huge. And that's not what makes the movie, but that right, moment but alone, I mean, it just kind of solidifies it's a perf- it's a perfectly done, where he stands. It's a perfectly done origin story for me. It's really well paced. It's concise. Yeah. It's always on message. And then when it sets up his new position, new role in the Marvel Universe, it's perfect. And you're like, all right, cool. Out of ten. Out of ten, solid nine. Solid nine. I I, I don't think Iron I, Man I, Iron I, Man I, might I, be the only movie I've thought that's lost right, about. that's right. Uh I would say I would have to agree that it's a solid nine because I think Solid. I mean I just don't have many problems with yeah. this at all. At yeah. all. There's really no I mean I should give it a ten, but 
I, like, I feel like but I had I don't more know, problems but I don't, Yeah, but <laughs> I, exactly. But I don't know what I gave to Guardians, and I can't give it more because I truly believe that Guardians, for me, was still more entertaining and more fun. So... Oh, but it's a di- I mean, but it's, it's a different a, kind of movie. It was yeah. way more comedic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's more entertaining, but just because it's way more comedic, I think it was it was a more comedy entertaining. Yeah. Uh, again, I, I think Guardians overall to me was cooler because it created like again it deepened the Marvel Cinematic Universe just like this did. Right. But it just to me did it a little more outwardly. I think like, I think we're in agreement. Nine out of ten. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I don't really have much else to say. All the thumbs up. All every thumbs every up. thumb you can Just, find. I'm gonna definitely buy it and watch it at least ten more times. It's absolutely uh, fantastic. I can't I, I can't recommend this movie more. Yeah. Absolutely. Go watch it. That's it. It's all we gotta say. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the description below for any social media links. We have a bunch of them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you enjoyed it, subscribe and thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Doses.